Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and this was the start of the day today here at 6.30 West Coast time. Uh, we had come off of a big drop, uh, taking out the 10.67 area, uh, putting us in a down trending day. Uh, 10.67 was the number that I had given yesterday that if we had broken that, then we were going to see lower prices. So we never did get that rally that we were looking at, and this here is the start of the day right here. Uh, just showing you the turning points, uh, the signals generated by the trading method, um, only following just the signals. This is short here, short again, and short again. With the downtrend as strong as it is, this could have been a counter trend long signal. Even actually still um, producing maybe a point in there, but um, this is I think the only one that I skipped. But outside of that, uh, the next signal would be right here. And even this right here is a two-point move. Okay, next signal long. This right here, these are a couple of small moves. This is a point and a quarter move. But all I'm doing is pointing out every trading signal that the day had given. Here's a trade short right here, producing several points. A five-point move right here. Here's a trade long, 735. And an add-on trade here as well, 752. And another add-on trade directional change right here at a little after 8 o'clock. This here was a, a little whipsaw. This gave a long signal and then a short signal. I think it's the only one like that today. Next signal short there a little after 9. That was actually good for 2, 3 points. Next trade 9.50. That was good for 4, 5 points. Next trade good for 4, 5 points long two or three points here short, one, two, three and a half. By the time it reverses, there's still a couple points in there. There's a few, let's see, two, three points, at, two points in here. This is a little bit of a whipsaw action late in the day, but there's still at least one, two, there's over two points in this. And uh, there's a couple points, let's see, you know, point and a half, point and a quarter in here and so on point and a half in here so even in this whipsaw which I would skip I wouldn't be taking these trades this trade right in here and this trade over here are much better trades if you had taken this with just a one point stop you would have gotten stopped out but I would have taken that as a re-entry short there's a counter trend back long if you did take that that was good for one two two and a half points even with a one and a half or two point target you'd pick that up two point target you pick that up two point target you pick that up so those were the last uh, signals there for the day uh, just before the end of the day here one two three this is a three point move here and the, in the night trading right now we're looking at um, two three point move on the last signal now this is my middle time frame chart this matches perfectly to the smaller time frame chart just get more bars posted uh, the signals generated the exact same fashion exact same uh, timing as well. It'd be no difference than looking at the shorter time frame chart than you would be getting at this longer mid or middle time frame chart. So those were the signals there for the day. Uh, each point on the S&P is $50 per contract and uh, you don't need too many of those trades to capture a daily goal of two to four points. So you can just see the recap there as this is zoomed out uh, taking us into that pre-market which was all the way up here this was from the close of yesterday so that 1067 was broken right here that this set up the stage for a down day uh, we were in that tight consolidation pattern yesterday with an inside day uh, stops heavy stops placed on both ends of the market above on the breakout side below on the sell side and the 1067 area came in where well, was it right up in here 1067 was actually right up in here so after this got broken we were just uh, having a down day for the remainder of the day so <clears throat> sediment numbers will come out tomorrow morning and I'll post those in the afternoon or evening session on my blog uh, to let you know what developments have changed possibly it was enough this big down day is enough to get all of the bears to bite and hopefully the market will hold on. Uh, maybe we'll see a, a reaction rally back up. But I'd like to see those sentiment numbers first. Uh, we are in negative territory right now. So until next time, Vince is Sniper Day Trading. Thanks for tuning in.